गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दिन क्लास टॉपिक मॉलिकुलर बेसिस ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस ओके टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज जेनेटिक कोड सर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द सेंट्रल टॉक मास्टर इन प्रीवियस क्लास इन दैट प्रोसेस टूडे वी शुड डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रांसलेशन सर वाई यू आर गोइंग टू जेनेटिक कोड आई थिंक यू मे नॉट सू डोट रिगार्ड्स दैट but exactly i know that so today why we are discussing about genetic code means before we going to know about translation we should learn about the genetic code why sir why we should know about genetic codes you know that when it comes to translation so after mrna only that will forms into proteins so usually these proteins are formed with the help of amino acids just note the definition What is protein? If sometimes uh, if someone is asked uh, directly a question regarding the protein, what do you mean by protein? So we just know that proteins are the composed by amino acids. Or amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. This is the exact definition when it comes to proteins. So these genetic codes, with the help of amino acids only, they will form into what protein. So what is that? With the help of Amino acids that forms into proteins. Okay, so usually these amino acids are building blocks of protein. Okay, so that's why today we are going to deal with the concept that is called as a genetic code. Yes, is that clear? Now, what you mean by genetic code first note down the definition what do you mean by genetic code genetic code is a language of genes okay first thing genetic code is a language of gene present in both dna and mrna sequences present in both dna and mrna sequences in the form of triplet codon in the form of triplet codons and with the help of what nitrogen bases nitrogen bases this is a complete exact definition for genetic code so once again i'll repeat this definition genetic code is a language of genes okay present in dna and mrna in the form of triplet codons with the help of nitrogen base that is called as a genetic code who proposed this one okay first thing how the genetic code is invented we will discuss this first jaaj gamow okay just note down that uh, word jaaj gamow is a physicist was that physicist he what stated that the combination of bases could form a genetic code as there are 20 amino acids and four nitrogen bases what he stated first thing with the help of nitrogen base okay with the help of nitrogen bases that is four nitrogen bases so with the help of these four nitrogen bases these nitrogen bases are going to code around 20 Amino acids. This four nitrogen bases code for twenty amino acids in the triplet manner. So that is one nitrogen bases. Okay. So one means four exactly one nitrogen bases code for one thing. Next triplet manner. Okay. So around how many codons will be there? Sixty-four codons are going to. Synthesize or forms into 20 amino acids. In that 64, 3 are terminator codons. Terminator codons are stopping codons. Except those things, 61 codons are helps the synthesis of 20 amino acids. This statement is stated by George Gamow. So that is the important. triplet manner so usually these genetic codes are 
usually not usually okay exactly they are in triplet manner okay three genes are together to form such a one exact code that is called as a genetic code this is a just a brief introduction regards to a genetic Hargobind Koran developed the chemical method in synthesizing RNA molecules with a defined combination of bases and they are homopolymers and copolymers and second scientist he is Marshall Nirenberg developed a cell free system for protein synthesis and last scientist he is Severo Okha polynucleotide Phosphorylase enzyme is used to polymerize RNA with defined sequences in a template independent manner. This flowchart is belongs to the codons for the various amino acids. You already knew that around 64 codons are going to code for 20 amino acids and they will synthesize the 20 amino acids also. But these amino acids involve in the translation and leads to protein synthesis and they are as follows and I will explain with the help of representation also you just note down those things. First one alanine represented by ALA, second one arginine ARG, asparagine ASN, aspartic acid ASP, cysteine CYS, glutamine GLN, Glutamic acid GLU, glycine GLY, histidine HIS, isoleucine ILE, leucine LEU, lysine LS, methionine MET. And this methion is the always in translation and eukaryotes. Okay, this one is the firstly formed initiator amino acid or initiator codon. Next, phenyl alanine PHE, proline PRO. Serenine SER, Threonine THR, Tryptophan TRP, Tyrosine TYR, Valine VAL and these are all 20 amino acids involved in a translation. Move on to the major concept of genetic codes that is properties of genetic codes. What are those properties? of genetic code. So, what is that? Properties of genetic code. In this, we are going to discuss about the characteristic features or the salient characteristic features of a genetic code. Just don't know that. First one, codons are triplet in nature. So, codons are always triplet in nature. How so? How they are triplet in nature? Simple thing, before we go to know about triplet nature, we should know how many codons are going to form these 20 amino acids with the help of these triplet codons. We knew that usually just a many columns, types of codons, next number of Bases in codons and last one number of codons. Make the column like this, three columns. First one single codon. The single means how many codons will form? Doublet and triplet. So what we should do? With help of triplet codon only, number of codons will form. Okay, if in case singlet means the four codons will form. You know that. Next, doublet means four into four, sixteen. For four are sixteen. Sixteen codons will form. Okay, next, triplet means sixty-four codons will form. These sixty-four codons form into twenty amino acids. So, this one is completely regards to the formation of 64 codons. This is how the 64 codons are going to form and help in the synthesis of our protein for the amino acid and forms into what? Proteins. Now, what we should do that is, codons are triplet in 
man has heart, we should do. So, this is already done. So, we should know what code answer triplet man has. So, already in a triplet man has around 64 code answers, you knew that. Now, how they will form into triplet man has? Just make out the columns. Yo, C, 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 Yo, C, A, C, Yo, C, A, C. Just
okay and next u u g will be there u g g like this okay then forms they are where not forms into set of a chromosomes or set of a codes then forms continues like u u u a u g u u g and u g g like this they will forms continuous there is no space in between three triplet products and that is the thing but they are continuous non punctual then form of this okay next move on to major concept no no next property that is called as a universal what do you mean by universal except except mitochondria except mitochondria and protozoans and protozoans okay all codons that triplet codons are genetic codes are universal and common in nature but except mitochondria and protozoa in this zone some kind of a mutations are there so they will forms into different kinds of amino acids next one i will write this one i will write so next one what is that this not on the one non overlapping rather non overlapping how the forms of non overlapping for example u u u a u g next u g g like this some sequence will be there just imagine okay this one is what phenyl alanine this one is what methyl okay they forms into triplet manner but they are continuous in nature so they will not they will not pour for another triplet codon okay they will not try to pour for one more codons so they will not try to overlap on another triplet codon so so that's why this forms into what continuous sequence so this is the thing but a non overlapping nature next as is the last one they forms into two different codons one is a initiator codon they can sign of a initiator codons and also terminator codons initiator codons and terminator a u g what is that a u g so this one is the first three form amino acid and it also called as a methionine and this methionine act as a dual in nature when it comes to eukaryote this is the first three form amino acid and called it as a methionine only what is that in eukaryote it's called as a methionine so same thing when it comes to prokaryotes so this one is called as a formal formal methionine so that's why right. that as a dual in nature move on to next one that is terminator one so usually the genetic codes also consisting of a terminator codons they are nothing but u a a u a g next u g a these three are the terminator codon codons which are going to present and they are helps in the stopping the translation during the complete process for transcription not translation not transcription translation this is regard to what the properties of genetic code move on to next concept that is mutation and genetic code mutation and genetic code so what do you mean by mutation loss or gain of a genes okay loss or gain of a genes in sequence of codes okay in coding sequence 
that leads to what mutation or changes so that is called as a mutation loss or a gain of a genes in a coding sequence that leads to changes that is called as a mutation so mutation is two major types let's see go for two major types one is a point mutation second one frame shift mutation is that frame shift mutation okay first one point mutation so it is the first one that is point mutation so example for this point mutation is sickle cell anemia that sickle cell anemia just note on this example sickle cell anemia here what is going to happen in this point mutation simple thing during the coding process so usually triplet codes are code for amino acid codes are always code for amino acid during that glutamine is substitutes the valine substitutes the valine it just note on the codes of glutamine first one caa what is that caa second one cag and valine just note on this one cag okay this valine okay G U Q. Next G U C. Next to that G U K. Next last one G U G. These are the four triplet products that so balance and amino acids. And these two are the glutamine. So this substitute the balance. So during the formation of valine, so glutamine will form and leads to sickle cell anemia. So that is the change. That is the change takes place in the coding sequence. That is nothing but a mutation. When it comes to point mutation, just an example for point point mutation. Next more to what frame shift mutation. What is that frame shift? mutation so what do you mean by this concept simple thing in that point shift mutation only the triplet code one particular triplet code is replaces the one particular amino acid one amino acid replaces the another one substitutes the another one. but here the complete frame is going to collapse because of a mutation how so in ncert book they gave a beautiful example so with the help of my name only Okay, just note down this one. Myself, Ram, you know that. Same thing. What they give? Ram has Ram has big big cap. If okay, these are triplet in manner. Okay, just see that one triplet in manner. All the one. Now, when it comes to frame shift mutation happens in this one, what it will lead? You know that mutation means deletion or addition. Here, the one particular gene. Is going to add this complete frame is collapsed. How so? This one is a frame, complete frame sequence. How so? So same thing. So Ram has they add one particular gene in between this one. What it happens? Okay. G C G C K T. Here, what they did? They add one new one, new gene here. So what happens? Ram has R B I G C A P kappa. No, this is completely collapsed to mutation. So that is nothing but a frame. Completely a changing of frame is takes place here. Same thing again. They are going to add one more gene to it. Ram has again. They give one one more sign of what? The Ram has. Again, they add one more gene, right? Big cap. Now, this is a complete perfection. Ram has a red big cap. So, if in case the codons are triplet manner, the se coding sequence is not going to disturb. The mutation will not take place. But if it is only a single gene addition of deletion takes place, means the complete frame of the sequence is going to 
broken. So that is nothing but a frame shift mutation. So just clear about everything today's session and today's session. We'll come back with the next concept that is a translation in the next session or in the next class. Till now, stay in home, stay safe. We'll be back again in the next session. Thank you so much for your cooperation.